Okay, so this is a tutorial for those who have upgraded from Windows 8 to Windows 8.1. Now, you'll notice, or you may have noticed, that when you upgrade it to the next version, your tablet stopped working. Either you can move the cursor and you don't have pressure sensitivity, or you have pressure sensitivity, but you can't move the cursor. Or a range of things. It depends on the model you have. Actually, that's all that matters, pretty much. Um, now, I will walk you through an easy fix. And I'll also give you some tips to make things work better, even after the fix. Okay. Now, I was going to break my drivers again, just for this tutorial, but I was like, I'll re I already record this five times, I'm not going to. But here's some proof. Pressure sensitivity. I'm using the Monoprice hotkey tablet. I wish I got a Huey on, but... Oh well. At least with that I would have gotten tilt, but I don't care. Now, in Windows 8.1, if you right-click the bottom left-hand corner, you will bring up this dialog. Simply click Device Manager. Oops. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that your mice and other pointing devices is open. None of these will be disabled. You don't have to, disa to disable them. If you're running Windows 7 and you're having an issue, disabling some of these might help. But you also risk disabling your mouse, and then what are you going to do? You won't be able to do anything. Then they'll re-enable themselves anyways. You'll have tablet pointing devices right here. you'll have your tablet in there. Oh wait, did I forget something? Yes, I did. Go back into there and go into Programs and Features. I'm not editing this. Scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see your tablet driver. If you installed the drivers that came with your Monoprice tablet, or your UC Logic tablet, or your whatever brand you got, even your Huion tablet, uninstall that now and reboot. Then come back to this video. If you have most brands of these tablets, you want to go to uc-logic.com and download the latest version. And then continue. If you're using a Huion tablet, then download either, either Universal Drivers from them, or get the driver that they have specific for your tablet model. Their, tab their drivers are slightly different, it seems, for their versions. I can't speak today. For their models of their tablets. I suggest getting their drivers and coming back if you have a Huey on tablet. Otherwise, get the UC Logic drivers. I already did this. I don't use the Monoprice drivers. I still have the CD. Keep it because I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, but whatever. Once you do that and you come back to this video, I'll be waiting. Uh, go into tablet pointing devices and hit update driver software. You want to browse your computer and pick from a list. You will get a list of the drivers that are compatible with your tablet. I have four right here. These two here are for my tablet. These, I'm not sure what these are. I believe these are just extra drivers that are more of a Universal thing, I guess. I'm not sure. I, I don't want to bother because I already found a fix. I'm not going to play w around with this forever. You'll probably have multiple dates. Oh, I just installed the 2010 drivers. Well, I just broke my. I just broke them. Whatever. By default, it uses that 2010 driver with me. What I would, what I recommend doing is that you go to the newest driver, the one with the most up to the most up to date driver in that list chronologically, and you select that, if and reboot. And when you reboot, unplug your tablet, plug it back in, so it kind of refreshes things, and go into the software application, see if you have pressure sensitivity. If you do, congratulations, it works. If you don't, try the, next, try the slightly older one. Now, it will take a while for it to install, but when it does, it'll ask you to reboot. Simple, just reboot. When you boot back up, make sure you unplug your tablet. 
since I kind of walked you through that, I'm going to show you a couple tips. Now, in the tablet in the tablet settings, make sure you have support tablet PC feature checked. It may sound like a good idea to uncheck it, but if you have Windows 7 or newer, that will disable pressure sensitivity in a lot of soft a lot of software, except Adobe programs. I do not know why. They're different. Go into your monitor setting. Oh, I'm sorry. Scope. Hit screen ratio to make sure it's size to your screen. Also, when you go into your control panel and look for pen and touch, make sure you uncheck use pen button as right click equivalent. This can be checked, uh, erase ink, whatever. Make sure Flix is disabled because that will interfere with drawing in programs like Paint Tool Sci. And go into the settings for press and hold. Make sure that's disabled. Go into the settings for double tap. And set those to what you want, really. I just keep it fast because I don't have an issue with this tablet. You shouldn't. When you're first getting a tablet, you might be a little slow and you might want to lower that. I'm not sure. Your preference. And now I'll talk about Paint Tool Sci. That software hasn't been updated since 2008. You're going to have issues. There's going to be incompatibilities. Even Wacom, 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 users are starting to have difficulties with that software. If it works, you can use it. I don't like it because it's incompatible, or becoming, so I'll get it to work, and then it'll stop working, and I won't be able to fix it, unless I fiddle with settings until it works again. And I don't mean settings in the settings dialog, I mean the little configuration files in the program folder. So if you have Paint Tool Sci and you bought it, you waste you might have wasted some money because unless the developer starts picking that up again and fixing those issues, you're going to have reoccurring problems. If you pirated it like most people do, trash that shit now. Just get rid of it. I recommend Fire Alpaca because it's like it looks like Paint Tool Sci but not as advanced. It's good for sketching. Or getting Autodesk Sketchbook Copic Edition. It's free. It's free, you, it's free. It You don't get this color wheel, you get the little Copic color dialogue and you don't get all of them, but it's good for a start. <clears throat> At the same time, this program is only 50 bucks if you wanna get it, woohoo! But you see, now that you fix it, you should have pressure sensitivity. Simple. Simple as that. Now let's see how my drivers are doing. Oh, it updated the drivers. Now I have to restart. If I rest I'll restart and it'll be and it won't work because I already did that. But simple. Just simple. I'm i I'm going to just i I'm if you keep watching this, you're gonna only watch me do stupidity over and over. See I'm choosing choosing the newest version, it'll install, you reboot. Make sure you turn on your computer with your tablet unplugged or you might have an issue. You'll have to do that a couple times. When you finally plug your tablet, when you when your computer finally figures out what the hell it's doing, you can leave your tablet plugged in, but yeah, it's going to be a little interesting. But see, now that things are fixed, once things are fixed, you'll be able to... What the hell is this? You'll be able to do things again, and you'll be able to... Oh, look at that. My drivers are installing, so my tablet's not running. There it goes. You'll be able to draw again and do your funny things and doodle around and be stupid with it. I don't know what you do with your tablet. I don't use this thing. I don't like tablets, but doesn't mean I'm not going to help people with their tablets. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm going to drive myself insane. You'll have to reboot your computer. Big whoop. If this did not make any sense, tell me. I'll redo the video, and I'll link to it from this video in an annotation. Make sure that's odd or I'll find you! Okay. Ooh, I spit on my mic. So, you'll reboot. Big whoop. And that will be that.